Now, after drawing the data path, we can draw the data path like this. So, after we have drawn the data path, the next step we can do, we can convert the FSMD into the FSM, which is called, of course, the controller's FSM. Now, controller's FSM is basically really easy. What we do, it, uh, we have the exact structure as the FSMD and using this exact structure we just number the states with binary values. So for example this one is become the first state which is 0000. zero, zero, zero. From state 0000, zero, zero, zero we move to state 0001 right and if of course our condition is true not G not underscore I is true we go to from state 0, zero, 001 0010 and from state 0010 we move up back again to 0001 to check the condition again. Now if the condition is false we move from state 0001 to state 0011 which is basically the binary equivalent for state 3. Right and now in state 3 what we are doing we have to assign the value of x underscore i to x. Now we'll convert this statement into the respective control signals. To select x underscore i, right, the multiplexer x select, x underscore select should be a 0. And to load x, x underscore load should be a 1. So this single statement is translated into two control signals. In state 3 which is 0, 0, 1, 1. Similarly in state 0, 1, 0, 0, which is basically this state y has to be assigned the value of y underscore i right. So what we do again just like we did for x y underscore select is turned out to be 0 to select y underscore i and of course y underscore load is set to 1 to load this value of y underscore i into the variable y. So now from state 4 to move we move to state number 5 right and in state number 5 we have controlling the x as not equal to y. So instead of x not equal to y we now write the control signal which is given by x underscore not equal underscore y. So if this is true, we move to state number 6 and the state number 6 is an if statement, right? And the first condition is if x is less than y. So we replace this condition with x underscore less than underscore y control signal. Now if it is true, we move to state 7, y equals y minus 6. So what should now be the control signals for y equals y minus x? y underscore select should be 1 now and y underscore load should also be a 1 now. So this is state 7. And if this is not true, we move to not x is less than y and we have this not operator with x underscore less than underscore y. And for that we wrote x equals x minus y. And for that what do we do? We use x underscore select equals 1 to select this thing. And x underscore load is equal to 1 to select to load this value. Right. So this is basically what we do. So afterwards we move to state 6j. From state 6j we move to state 5j and from 5j we move again to state number 5 to check the condition. If the condition is false, which is not x is not equal to y, so if this signal is negated or not, not x underscore not equal to y, we move to state number 9. So what is the control signal we should have with state number 9? only v underscore load should be a 1 to carry out state number 9 and from then we move to state 1j and we can 
go back again from phase number one. And notice, students, please, I discussed that not g not uh, g not underscore i is not treated as an input signal. Why? Because this diagram tells us that g not underscore i is an external signal to this particular controller. So after having completed the controller's FSM, right, so we can now try to design the the circuit. This is the controller's finite state machine or FSM. So to do that, what we can do, we can draw the next state table, right? Before drawing the next state table, we can split it, right? What are the uh, output signals from the combination logic? Is x underscore select, y underscore select, x underscore load, y underscore load, and what are the input signals or status signals? x underscore not equal underscore y, x underscore less than underscore y, and what is the output signal? d underscore load, and what is the current state? q not q1 q2 q3. And what is the next next state? I not I one I two and I three. And this controller is connected to uh, is represented by this particular diagram. So now we can have a state table, the beautiful state table for this greatest common design, uh, common denominator example. And we have these inputs over here, right? X underscore not equal underscore y x underscore less than underscore y and g not underscore right and these are the outputs i not i1 i2 and i3 and also the x select y select outputs x underscore load y underscore load and d underscore load outputs so let's see what is state number 000 so if we are in state 000 the next state is state 0001 it is unconditional right there is no any condition so if this, this current state is 0, 0, 0, 1, the next state is 0, 0, 0, 1. This is again I don't care, this is again I don't care because x underscore load equal, has said to be 0, y underscore load is said to be 0, and d underscore load is said to be 0. And of course, x underscore not equal to underscore y is not important, x underscore less than underscore y is not important g not underscore i is not important so it means whatever might be the values of these three variables we still have to move from 0, 0, 0, 0 to 0, 0, 0, 1 state so instead of writing the eight rows for each combination of this it would waste the table space we have just denoted them by static static and static now let's say we are in state 0, 0, 0, 1 right so what is the next state next state it is 0, 0, 1, 0. and what does it depend on it depends on the not g not underscore i so if g not underscore i is 0 not g not underscore i is 1 or 2 and you move from state 0, 0, 0, 1 to 0, 0, 1, 0. So let's look at the state table so we are in state 0, 0, 0, 1 right and if g naught underscore i is 0 we move to the state 0 0 1 0 again this is the don't care and this is all zeros now let's say we are in 0 0 0 1 and this g naught underscore i is said to be 1 where would we go if we are in 0 0 0 1 and g naught underscore i is 1 this becomes false so next state now becomes 0, 0, 1, 1. So this is depicted in this. So if our state is 0, 0, 0, 1 and this g naught underscore i becomes 1, the next state becomes 0, 0, 1, 1. Okay. So now similarly we can do that, right? So if the current state is 0, 0, 1, 0, what should be the next state? 0, 0, 0, 1. So if the current state is 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, the next state would be 0, 0, 0, 1 regardless of the, any of these inputs. So they have been given by static as well. Let's examine another state. 
let's say we are at state 0, 0, 0, 1, right? So when we are 0, sorry, 0, 1, 0, 0, let's say, okay. Or for that matter, we can have 0, 0, 1, 1. So if we are in 0, 0, 1, 1, right? The X underscore select output is set to be 0. And X underscore load output is set to be 1. So if we are in 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. The next state is 0, 1, 0, 0. And X select underscore output is 0. And X underscore load output is 1. Just like this figure is telling us, right? And what would be the next state? It would be 0, 1, 0, 0. So, we can look at this current state is 0, 0, 1, 1. So, if it is 0, 0, 1, 1, the next state is 0, 1, 0, 0. Right. And the X select output is 0 and Y X load output is 1. Similarly, all the other states can be verified in this controller state table. Now, after we have written the controller state table for this example, what we need to do? We need to do the actual design. So, how can we complete the GCD custom single purpose processor design? We have finished the data path. We have a state table for the next state and the control logic, which is this thing that we are referring to. And all we have to do is to do the combination logic design, right? This is not an optimized design because it could be optimized when we optimize this. Uh, combination logic part that we are having over here. This is one thing. Now let's look at another type of design that we can have for a custom single purpose processor which is called RT level or register transfer level design. Usually we start with the state machine rather than an algorithm right. So for example we have a state machine and we can do that right. So let's have an example. And this example, we have a bus bridge that converts 4 bit bus to 8 bit bus. So we have the sender, it is sending us 4 bits of information with a clock pulse. And this ready underscore in is 0 when no data is transmitted to the bridge. But ready underscore in when it becomes 1, it signals the start of the transmission. And during the transmission of the four bits, uh, parallel transmission of four bits, the ready underscore n remains one, right? So afterwards, the ready underscore n becomes zero. And we check while the ready underscore n is zero. The moment the next four bits are being to be transmitted by the sender, the sender asserts or sets the ready underscore end line to 1 which is again a signal for the second 4 bits of the transfer to be coming and while ready underscore end becomes remains 1 the bits are received and the moment the ready underscore end line becomes 0 it means the 4 bits have been loaded or transmitted uh, note that data transmission would be parallel in this scenario right so, this bus bridge uh, operation has been discussed. Now, we can start with the FSMD, which is also known as the register So, what can we do? We can have something like this, right? Which is a FSMD, right? What does the FSMD show? We did the first state, wait for, which is called wait for first four. And we remain in this state while the ready underscore in line is zero. The moment the moment ready underscore in line becomes one, we move from this state to the receive first four start state, right? Right. We receive the data and we continue while the ready underscore in is one. So. Just when ready underscore n becomes 0, we move from this state to wait for second fourth state and we remain in this state while ready underscore n line is 0. 
the moment radian code in line becomes one, we move from read second uh, four state to receive second four star. And we receive this bit while the radian code line is one. Right? Now the moment the radian code line becomes zero, we move to this particular point and we can send data out and by sending the data out we also set the radian score outline to be one so that this receiver can receive and this data is transmitted and we will send the eight end to the device and then we set the radian score outline to be zero so these are the inputs and these are the outputs and these are the variables Design. After doing that, we can go at the register transfer level custom single purpose processor design, which is the continuation, and we can have now the controller and the data path, right? So basically, the data path is a simple data path. We have four bit data bus, which is input to the data underscore in and the data a data underscore high and a data underscore low option and we also have a data underscore out these four bits would be combined to the eight bits in this data underscore out register which sends the data out from this device so what would be this control signal for this data underscore high underscore low and what would be this data underscore low underscore load and this can be data underscore out underscore load register right uh, data underscore out underscore load control signal I'm sorry and afterwards we also have a ready underscore out output so what are the inputs to the controller ready underscore in clock and data underscore in and like before, we have converted now these steps into this control signal. So for receive first four start, data has to be loaded into the low part of the register. Lower four bits. So we said data underscore low underscore load to be one. Then we can receive it. Afterwards, we set the data underscore high. Uh, data underscore high underscore load to 1 because now the 4 bits are to be loaded into data underscore high register. So after these two has been added, finally we have to store these 4 bits in the data underscore out register by doing this data underscore out underscore load equals 1 and sending ready underscore out equals 1 also. So after the data has been received by the 8 bit receiver, we said we set rate ready and score out to be zero.